Hello and welcome to another episode of Christian Relearns Math, where today I relearned the exterior angle theorem for triangles. So check this out. Let's say we have a triangle like we have here, okay? And we can see it's labeled, all right? So we got a 50 angle, a 60 degree angle, and then we have this C and D angles, which we don't know what they are yet. So our task is to find the measure of angle D. Okay, so what can we say about this triangle? Well, one thing we could say is we can remember that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, so that's these three, is 180. Okay, so if we write that, we can write an equation for that. So 50 plus 60 plus C gets us to 180 degrees. So we can write an equation for that, and then if we combine terms here, we get 110 plus C, then gets us 180. We subtract 110 from both sides, and we get C equals 70. Okay, that's pretty cool. Then from here, how can we get the angle of measure D? Well, one thing we can notice is that C and D these angles are adjacent, they're next to each other. And also, they form a straight line, as in half a circle. So, what that means is that angles C and D are supplementary, which means that when we add them together, angles C and D, these will equal a straight line, 180 degrees. And sometimes these are called a uh, linear pair. So when angles are adjacent and supplementary like this, you'll hear, you'll hear them referred to as a linear pair. So now because we already figured out that C is 70 over here, that means we can plug that in for C. And then when we subtract 70 from both sides, we get D is equal to 110. So we found our answer. D is 110 degrees. Now, notice also here that 50 and 60 is also 110 degrees. Hmm, so that means that this angle here, our exterior angle, is also equal to the sum of these two angles, the sum of the opposite two interior angles of the triangle. And these two opposite angles are sometimes called remote interior angles right, as in remote, they're the farthest ones from the exterior angle, and they are interior. So the remote interior angles. So is that always gonna happen, or was that just a one-time thing with this particular triangle on angles? Mm, how would we figure that out? Well, let's go back to the original equations that we set up here. So if we look at this first one here, all we did here is we wrote as an equation the intuition that the interior angles of a triangle sum to 180. And then in this second one, all we did was we wrote as an equation this visualization that we have angles C and D, they are a linear pair. They're adjacent and they're supplementary, as in they form a straight line. So they are 180. Well, the thing to notice here is that we have two equations that are equal to the same thing. And so if two equations are equal to the same thing, that means that they are equal to each other. So we could rewrite these as 50 plus 60 plus C equals C plus D. So 50 plus 60 plus C equals C plus D. And now what do we have here? Well, we have C on both sides, so we can subtract C from both sides, which will leave us with 50 plus 60 equals D. Interesting. So this is really the intuition for why this is always true. The interior angles of our triangle will always sum to 180 and our exterior angle and its adjacent interior angle will also sum to that same thing, 180. Both of these equations are true at the same time and they overlap. So that means that the parts that don't overlap are equal to each other. 
and in our case here, it's 50 plus 60 equals D. And we figured out that D is 110. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I know I certainly did, especially that intuition around why this is true and why it's always true. And going from the interior angles, they sum to 180, the straight angle sums to 180, they overlap in C, they're both equal to the same thing. That's really for me the crux, the core of this whole, this whole thing. Make sure to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.